they did um, profit, profit and loss statements, balance sheet, um, uh, different types of softwares that can be used into account, accounting, um, into accounting. Um, uh, we did what VAT is and how to calculate it, what the double entry bookkeeping is. Um, uh, 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 oh, trial sheet, trial balance, pay, um, uh, and what the financial state is. Um, can't think of anything else now. Good, well then, great. You know, that's these things we learn, and today we are moving forward. So, which will go through. So let's you know. So we today our focus oh, yeah, will the be project. <clears throat> yes, we did budget. Um, uh, the discounts, settlement discounts, uh, cash discount, <clears throat> trade discount. Um, what the budget is and how it is used, cash budget. Um, yeah. Well then, great. So all these we learned during our one of lesson. Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, hello. Can you hear me, Barbara? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. Yes, can you hear me now? Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. okay, What's happened? <laughs> okay. I think I think yeah, I think I pressed something and there was no uh, sound anymore. So yeah. Um Okay, no problem. Let's you know we'll go through in a minute. Yeah. Okay, let's we'll go through. <clears throat> so we today we are covering LO four, which is our learning outcome four, and uh, where we need to learn about describe the type and the sources of the finance where we can raise the money for our business, which we'll go through, and uh, we'll go through the role of budget and budgetary control, which we discuss one of lesson as well. Further, we'll go through and. Uh, we already discussed how to make a cash budget. I'll demonstrate, you know, how we can look around and how we can prepare the cash budget. So today, are uh, three areas really we need to focus, and a little bit we'll maybe go through a bit, you know, adjustment in trading profit and loss account, which I'll give you some examples as well. What is meant by these previous lesson trial balance, profit and loss, and balance sheet as well. Yeah. So today we are moving forward, and our lesson fourth lesson, which we are going to. Sources of finance. <clears throat> so, what what do you know about the sources of finance? Where we can um, raise the money? If you want to start your business, where you can raise the money? Um, <laughs> well, by if I want to start the business, um, uh, you mean like maybe um, part like some sort of like um. Let's, uh, you you want to yeah. start your own business. What are the yeah. sources of finance where you can raise the money? Right. So uh, I would probably uh, present like a 
um, not having funds, obviously, I will probably present my business plan to um, local like government authorities and stuff like that and see if I can get some sort of loan well done. To, to do that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, or I will try and find uh, partners that would believe in my <laughs> ideas. Um, yeah. Um, and then you've got like, I don't know, there are like crowdfund websites as well, maybe. I don't know. Good. Okay. So other could be family friend. We can ask, you know, lend me some oh, yeah. money. Yeah. We have some asset. Maybe we can sell them and we can raise finance. Oh, yeah. Maybe some lot of jewelry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's we'll move to next. Now we are looking sources of finance. So there are normally we divide them debt financing debt means the money we can borrow by getting the bank loan or some you know other credit institute you know which normally give like credit agencies they give you know the loan that is something which we has to pay repaid so debt financing it could be short term medium term and long term short term we can get you know like our draft facility from bank and the long term, normally we have a bank loan, that's normally considered medium term or long term. Trade credit, we can say, you know, SAR supplier will pay you later on. That could be a source, yes. Credit, yeah. bank credit facility, we can. Let's give me 2000 pound of a draft or credit facility, you know. So that yeah. could be bank loan, debt factoring. Debt factoring is mean, you know, I have a lot of money to receive from my customer. I can give the invoice to my bank and they give me the money. If I suppose to, for me, sorry. If uh, I I suppose to receive the money, lot of I have a customer already. I need more money, but I have an invoice. The customer pay me maybe after one year, but I have all details and legally invoices I have, and those invoices I can give to the bank or for the debt companies, and they can give me if I supposed to collect 100 pound they say me oh i'll give you 90 pound or 90 euro yes yeah, that's yeah. a debt factory okay factor yeah. mean you know so that term we use that fa factory and invoice discounting and we can say invoice discounting some invoices you know we can discount them and the discount company they can receive money directly from customer okay no i didn't get that okay like you know you're supposed to collect monies from someone yeah they send you invoice you go oh, yeah, to yeah. the company those okay you know cash the checks and things you give them invoice and they will give you the money but they say okay no no we not give you 100 pound we'll give you maybe 80 pound yeah 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 and that's debt factoring right uh no that's the invoice discounting all oh, right okay okay and debt okay. factoring like you know sometimes the people owe our money they're not going to pay anything now they may be we wrote them many times we'll we sell their debt to other company and they can collect it okay okay like in uk debt collector yeah you know if we don't pay, they give our detail to the debt collector and the company will collect the money, like maybe they get 40, 50% of the debt, but the debt collecting company, they can get, you know, they will say, oh, we'll charge you this fees, that fees, debt collector. So that's a debt yeah, factoring. Yeah. Normally we use the term debt factoring and invoice discounting means discounting the invoice. Yeah. Okay. Higher purchase. Yes. <clears throat> like you know higher purchasing means we are purchasing something in a higher which is we are paying the fixed rent on it okay Car yeah. higher purchase leasing lease could be two types one is called finance lease one is operating lease finance lease if we'll get the car under the finance lease car will be our own car and the from yeah. day first i can say it's my car the okay. lock book lock will be lock book will be on my my name because that yeah. is a finance lease. Finance lease is including the interest and the repayment. Yeah. 
and the operating lease is only the rent we are paying but the title of the car will be maintained by the leaser the person lease leaser the person who gave the lease mm -hmm. and uh, they will maintain the cars you know like maintenance and everything you know yeah but under the finance lease we are responsible anything damage happen with the car we will be responsible but yeah. operating lease is a just a rent to use it okay yeah so that's we can do <clears throat> so these all been explained trade credit bank facilities yes rising finance in wide discounting higher purchase leasing and uh, activity we're not doing really finance lease operating lease credit all these are short term medium term okay next we looking long term long term debt long term debt could be more than 5 year 10 year mm -hmm. that's normally different project you know like a mortgage could be a long term yeah term loan could be a 10 year loan 5 year loan from the bank yeah bond bond is a like a piece of paper which is which could be secure and unsecure like you know i have a asset i have a property but i don't have a cash i can issue the bond which is pledge you know against my asset and whenever you know that bond it could be convert after 5 year you know the bond could be 100 pound i'll say to uh, the lender you give me 80 pound and after 5 year you take from me 100 pound okay yes so actually the value on the bond normally higher written but mm -hmm. they are giving us less money at the maturity when it's a mature bond they can claim you know full money from me or from the company i'm just quoting yeah. example okay debenture debenture is a sort of you know is is exactly the same way the bond work but to have a slightly different legal requirement debenture okay. could be could be secure unsecure as well which is normally companies issues like a public limited company but bond could be issued by the government or could be any any sort of company okay so the ventures is from by a private limited company yes it's a private limited company normally they trade in stock exchange okay convertible loan stock the loan which we can convert it into the stock like you know you have a loan you give me loan if i don't pay you you can claim my asset you know you can take my stock okay yes if i don't pay it it's convertible either could be convertible into the oh, the loan you have you can buy convert into my stock stock is it could be shares share stock like yeah. you know we can convert into the shares i yeah. i borrow you 100 pound i owe you 100 pound what you can you can buy my company shares 100 pound worth of. yeah and whatever the company will earn the profit you can you know get the yeah, shares yeah, yeah. of it sales and lease back normally we can sell it we can lease back as well yes mm -hmm. so you sell property to us but in future you can lease back as well okay so normally the house building you know that's nowadays in a housing sales and lease back is quite popular okay yeah so that means that like if if after say i let's say i have a house i have a property for 100k let's say and um i um want to buy maybe something else for like 50k so i put that on lease back and that means that i borrow this k from you and then if i don't pay back the money then you take 50k off my property yes no okay yes you're right you know that's a lease back and you but you need money so you can collect the money okay okay that's all about the mortgage being explained term loans bonds yes long term yep. contract and uh, bonds debentures yes is a secured bond fix are floating Fixed mean is a fixed in interest and floating mean it could be changed interest as the company company value will change. Yeah. Okay. Risk of reducing restrictions. Limited limit on the further debt could be. Yes. Dividend mm -hmm. level. Dividend mean the return level. Limit on the disposal of the asset and financial rate.
we can look these things to decide either we can give the debt or not to the company okay yeah okay convertible like we discussed you know we can convert it sales and lease back and activity we're not doing activity we're just you know going through basic okay equity what is meant by equity um so the equity is uh whatever is left after um like whatever the company owns after all the um debts are paid okay yes no. you're right you you thinking in term of the house you know that the how much oh. is you outstand how much is the equity is mean your investment within yes uh no can you repeat that for me please okay uh equity you know some people think like you know in my house how much my own payment including you know like my investment that's my equity equity mean the capital okay yeah. and the rest will be the loan yes if i'm giving down payment so that's my equity in the house and the mm -hmm. rest the rest outstanding i borrow money which i'm borrowing from the company okay okay so in in business equity mean the share capital you know the company can raise the finance they can go to the bank they can borrow the money getting the loan that's called debt financing they can issue shares to the public and they raise the raise the finance as well uh-huh so okay. equity is mean the issuing share to the public to get the money yeah like uh, we shares could be ordinary share and nominal share ordinary shares mean when the shareholder have a voting right and their return on investment dividend could be varies every every year second type of shares could be preference share preference mean you know before when we'll declare the profit we'll give the return on investment to preference we give them preference to so their rate normally fixed rate of return like a loan okay so equity mean the share contribute to a company by its shareholders so the key feature okay when we have equity fund and in loan if you don't pay it bank can charge you penalty but if you have a equity like you issue share so if the company don't earn the profit shareholder can't claim the money okay share prices could be yes the value of the shares up and down but the shareholder you buy 100 pound worth of shares like a bitcoins you may be heard about bitcoin shares is around yeah. 10 10000 now so yeah that's the share value go up and down yes if the company don't pay the dividend it's up to them we can't we can we only have a voting right to change the management okay so that's all about you know okay equity financing normally is quite good uh, for the big project as well could be a reserve for the company venture have you ever heard venture capital uh yeah but uh, don't, don't, i don't i can't yeah i can't picture a yeah. lot of company they have a lot of you know private you know small investor they invest in the venture company and the venture company they have a lot of big money and they invest in different projects that's called venture capital okay and they have we, private they have private um uh, money lenders basically yes like uh, uh some people call business angels business angels mean you know those are rich people like um richard bronson and various other alan mm -hmm. sugar and various these are these are known as a uh, angels business angels they have a lot of cash so we can say you invested few some other invested and come together as a venture capital for the project yeah. private placing could be different places in the private in the market alternative investment market quoted company those are listed in the stack of chain they can invest as well so we can raise them money okay these are all major difference is a debt financing and equity financing and under that different type of finance we can each have a own advantage and disadvantage if i do the debt financing if i don't pay the payback back on time they can penalize me 
but in if i have a debt financing it considered in the business as an expense so i'm not paying any tax on it okay so if i have an equity finance so if i don't pay the return to my investor on time what the share value will be dropped down if i issue lot of shares not i borrow money from the bank what will be happen they can kick me out any time because they have a voting right okay yeah so we need to be balanced so normally is a good rule you have a 60% debt and 40% equity because normally debt is a cheaper than equity like if you borrow money from the bank you can get 3 4% but if you have a share share return normally more than 10% company okay. paying dividend of course is a risk there as well it could be a zero it could be a 10 yeah so that's why we need to decide you know okay next we looking the budget budget mean the financial plan and it's used in the quantitative quant it's 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 used in the quantitative term quantitative term mean in numbers and qualitative mean the just information okay so budget whenever we will make the budget we can make different sort of budget in a business so first step is always sale forecast so first step mm -hmm. is a sale forecast i need to be forecast what is happening what are the economic situation if i'm expecting more my sales next year will increase mm -hmm. good economic situation i need to increase my production in units i can make the bu budget for production because i'm expecting my higher sale i need to produce higher level of units as well yeah when producing more i need more budget for the labor labor utilization budget yeah i need to buy more material material usage budget i can make it yeah i can make the budget for the material purchase yeah so so all these are the type and then more crucial budget is a cash budget yes where the money will come from yeah so these you know will go <clears throat> through and uh, i'll go through some did we discuss about the cash budget i think in the second lesson during yeah we spoke about cash budget uh, yes i gave you the templates as well which we can use uh, within assignment as well if you want to add you know some examples mm -hmm. okay budget is defined as a precise target concerning cash receipt and payment it could be sales it could be detailed stock requirement it could be labor it could be production budget why yeah. we'll make the budget if we don't have budget budget provide us navigation like a set nav if we don't have a set nav we don't know the direction properly so yeah and for the producing a budget is a planning where we are where we want to see ourselves within a budget budget but mm -hmm. to coordinate this is mean the budgetary control coordination between one department other department like how much money you been given what activity you used it yes how many worker you have how much budget you supposed to be so you have more work supposed to be more budget okay communication if we don't have a budget we can't communicate properly we can say and we can discuss about in term of the budget and we can say you should stay with the budget role and responsibility we can allocate as well yeah but if we'll stay within a budget it's motivate us yes oh yes you know we achieve our target yes that's why we supposed to be get the reward yeah but you heard about the company corillion one of the uk company construction company is going to be liquidate 20000 people going to be lost their job jobs yeah 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 so so we need to think about because they not stayed within a budget so every year borrow 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 what will be happen one day will be collapse yeah so lot of crit criticism on the government now is going around the reason is because the government not put the really control so budget For provide the, the control right? budget provide the control if we are not staying in a budget you need to justify why i am not in a budget if a little bit fluctuation there i suppose to budget was 100 i spent it 110 pound so i went 10% higher due to maybe 3 4% was a inflation worker was sick new legislation came or the national minimum wage increase that could be a reason yeah that's it but if there is a big 
at 40% I use, 50% extra I use, it can't be. So we need to justify yeah. why not. It mean I'm not effective manager and I not manage things effectively. Yeah. And we can evaluate it what against the budget and performance. Yeah. So that's we can look around the budget. And during our last lesson, we discuss about input and output tax. Yeah. Input mean on the purchases we pay the VAT. Output mean pay on uh, the on what we sell. Yeah. I put this link for you as well. This link is about the VAT. Yes. Okay. If you want to do some activity like you want to do some practice about these activities what we can do just click this copy this link there okay. i don't know why my internet Okay, so we can. Okay, just copy this link and then if you click there, you can uh, should run. So. Okay, I think so. It's not running right link at the minute. What I'll do, I'll 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 send you via email as well, huh? That's yeah. Different topics, so which I think so maybe not right link there. So that will help you as well, which we'll go through. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Then we'll we already during our first lesson we discuss about uh, type of business sole trader partnership limited company. Yeah. So yeah. that could be. Uh, we can look around as well okay and uh, these are there the another thing when we look learning outcome are uh, what we're supposed to do so one thing you know we now we describe type of sources of finance yes where we can raise the money so we can explain different sources of finance we 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 can discuss about budget and budgetary control i already send you chapter of the book which i'll resend you as well and uh, I al we already discussed about how we can prepare the cash budget. Yes, we remember? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that one second, I'll re show you. So that you can use, you know, within your assignment as well. Or you can change the figure if you want to, or you can keep the same figure if you like to. But you can explain what is the budget, what is meant by the cash budget. Cash budget means is a receipt and the payment on the certain period of time so we can forecast you know which month we are under cash if we are under cash you know we can look around i you can explain you know in this month november october december how much are the position of in this in this case as example below so you can interpret a bit you know in your assignment as well yeah so during our uh, so if I'm right, we this yes yeah. this these template you know which I gave you example of the budget. So this you can use yes yeah, if you like yeah. to use it. <clears throat> Even you can change the date if you like to 2018 yes. Yeah. So so you this template try to be included and just a little bit explain. Okay next. Yeah. Next, we slightly not thoroughly discuss, you know, 3.2 we are going through. So what is a 3.2? 3.2 is all about demonstrate how the trial balance along with the adjustment used to prepare the trading profit and loss account and balance sheet. Mm -hmm. Okay. We discuss, you know, profit and loss mean it shows all the income and expenses for the business in a profit and loss are we also called income statement yeah and what about the balance sheet what sort of the things we show in a balance sheet then um so the the, the balance sheet should have i don't remember 
okay did we discuss about asset liabilities capital yes yeah okay yes yeah. where we so discuss you know is, yeah yes it's yes a, it's, it goes um under the equation assets equal liability and equity plus equity yes so, well that's accounting yeah. equation that's all about the balance sheet yes yeah, so that's yeah at the base of the double entry we're keeping as well right yes absolutely right well done great okay. so that's that's really you know we need to be show within balance sheet so i'm i'm showing you some i'll send you some examples as well this is called extended trial balance with adjustments okay so normally in a business it's a solved there okay you see these are the highlighted figure mean these we already solved yes so not highlighted mean that's a question supposed to be i'll send you separate question for this so normally this is a template we have a we have a ledger this is a mean the trial balance we have okay can you see on the screen yeah okay now we have a trial balance trial balance mean we have a different ledgers like where the cash book balance where could be a sales balance where could be any balance so normally debit and credit side should be equal in a trial balance that is called trial balance you see there yeah yeah that's a trial balance sometime yeah. sometime in accounts we are missing something like i was expecting money to receive from someone and someone become a bankrupt not afford okay. it to pay so that's normally we call bad debts Okay. Bad debts mean the money we not going to receive from our customer. Yeah. Because we normally sell things, you know, lot of in a business real world we are selling something on credit and they supposed to pay later dates, but time they we always create a allowance like two three percent. We are expecting we not going to receive money from the customer because we are giving them credit. So we can mm -hmm. create we can create a allowance. allowance is mean the expectation which i am not going to get that money mm -hmm. so this was the allowance which we put it the allowance 2100 then end of the year their further you know charges happen actually is became a bankrupt it mean the within the allowance i reserve created from that reserve 250 pound i'm sure i'm not going to get it now okay yeah so we make adjustment this is called yeah. adjustment okay allowances for doubtful debt is my reserve reserve goes in the statement financial position which is called balance sheet so that figure i add it 2100 minus 250 is 18 50 yeah so it it goes like a cross you know on the same template you see yeah. there doubtful debt adjustment which i am doing adjusting because my debit and credit should be equal in accounts so that 250 i'm putting as a income there because you know i'm making adjustment within that i didn't get that okay because i so, sorry is other way around i make an allowance 2100 yes yes so i was thinking that 2100 i'm not going to receive it Yeah. Within that, within that amount, I received it two hundred fifty pound. They paid me. Yes. Which I was not expecting. I will receive. Yeah. So, the allowance I created, I received it. So I'm uh, reducing my allowance to eighteen hundred fifty pound. Still left, you know, which I'm expecting I won't be received. Okay, so the one thousand eight hundred and fifty is actually money that is never, uh, it never came through, correct? Yes, that money which is likely won't come through. But, exactly. Okay, cool. Yeah. Because so I, kept, I kept, yeah, I kept the reserve separate reserve. If somebody don't pay it, I'll can minus from it. Okay. Yeah. And so okay. the 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 second the second um, line on the allowance for doubtful debt adjustment. so it so means but i i received it 250 pound and that's became my income now which i was not thinking like you know sometime people pay you know luckily yeah. they pay 
so they yeah. paid me 250 that's is a, it goes under the income statement on the income side which is a credit side yes okay bank bank is an asset we have a debit balance there in the ledger and then we are making adjustment adjustment mean we withdraw some money from the bank we over them so my balance is there is 3500 okay yes i have a cash 35 capital it goes on the credit side financial position which is a balance sheet closing inventory yeah. inventory goes on the both statement in the income statement we i little bit explain you about the cost of sales how we can calculate it opening inventory plus purchase is less closing inventory equal to the cost of sales so that's why we are putting there both sides okay yes you see there same figures yes that's mean the my stock you know end of the year closing okay. okay depreciation depreciation is expense for the business so we'll putting in a income statement which is a profit and loss okay machinery machinery is the asset goes under the financial position depreciation is mean the how much is that's what i create a reserve for a whole from the day when I bought the asset and up to how much is the dev asset being depreciated. And I'll put, you know, all the expenses on the debit side of the balance uh, income statement. We'll say opening inventory there, office expenditure there, payroll expenses. Yes, purchase we consider as expense. Purchase ledger control account mean is our creditor, those people owe our money and those uh, supplier we owe them. Mm and uh, then we'll do all this you know we'll do the total of debit side of income statement we have a credit side of income statement and we'll take the difference if my credit side is higher than the debit Hello, are you there? Okay. So then we need to look around both and the uh, balance sheet should be equal both debit and credit side. The profit of the year, we put it under the credit side as well. So when we can tally these, you know, balances and this mean, you know, our trial balance. So that's your, which we need to demonstrate a little bit, demonstrate how the trial balance and the long with the adjustment, you know, please. So this learning outcome, you need to be you can add this example within your um, assignment as well if you want to so i'll send you this handout as well so please if you have any question do not hesitate to contact me and just you know send me drop me email so i'll go through with you as well so i'm going to copy just this question and i'll send you as well uh, sorry i think so you Hello. Hello, welcome, Barbara. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Sorry. Oh, no, no, that's fine. So, this is a trial we call trial balance, extended trial balance. We have trial balance there, we have adjustment there, we have an income statement there, we have a financial position there, which is called balance sheet, you know. So our learning outcome demonstrate how this trial balance along with adjustment prepare trading profit and loss, which are also called income statement. If you want to change the name of income statement, you can put it and the balance sheet. So this is your learning outcome, just this template itself as well. Yes. Okay. So yeah. So basically, like, would I? Um, so, so my question here is that, like, I would have to put that um like an um a sample like that on my assignment and then explain
yes you can explain few things you know like balance sheet shows all the asset and liabilities like you know this is this yes like machinery okay. is that Chase ledger control account is mean my liability for the business. That's it. Okay. Like, oh, then we'll be absolutely fine. What I'm going to do, I'm going to send you this just as a, because otherwise you will be mixed up, you know, I'm send you as a separate temp, uh, template with, you know, with the handout, with the question as well. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. So that's all really we're supposed to do under this assign, uh, this unit. But we will we can recap during our next lesson as well, a bit, okay. and then then we'll start a new unit. What do you think? Which okay, unit will suppose? Which unit do you think will start? Um, I don't know. Um, okay, you finish with you finish with me marketing. Yeah. Anything else we finish? Oh yeah, we did we did marketing management, operations management, and finance management. So. Um, oh yes, operational management and finance. So we finished two now. Yes, we did. It was three. We did oh, uh, mar okay. marketing management, operations. But operations management, honestly, I think I don't know. It's, it's probably the unit I didn't understand anything about, even though I know what it is. Like I, I don't know. I love to go through it. Like I didn't really. Um, have you, have you uh, wrote any anything about it assignment or not? About the operation one. Yes. No, I didn't. I didn't even touch it because I didn't even do the marketing one yet. So I'm I'm, I'm basically like trying. I would like to do the finance one. Uh, okay. No problem. Um, do the finance one. I'll I'll go through one recap lessons with you, and I'll send you all the recording. Do we have all the recording? You can find on the Moodle. Yeah, I'll find. Yeah, I'll find them. That's fine. And uh, I'll go through recap lesson with you as well. Yeah, I might. Yeah, even like after we finish the other ones, because I was planning to basically, um, uh, if we follow lessons like we are doing now, I can do um, the assignment while you know while we go through the subject, so I can start like you know researching and actually be on it while we do um, lessons, and then. Um, once we've done the next three subjects, basically, I'll go back to marketing and then operations, I think. Okay, no problem. That's fine. I was thinking know. of doing something like that. And then whenever, like, if I have, you know, if I need maybe help, could you, um, yeah, yeah, hands um, okay. after. So what we'll do now, because uh, we, we can start next lesson, human resource management in tourism and hospitality. Okay, cool. So then we'll carry on. We'll move back to because your when we'll do other unit that will be linked with your marketing as well, customer relationship. Okay, yeah. And uh, then I'll recap you know, and uh, then one we can do which is quite mixed up with marketing and operation, contemporary issues. Okay, okay, cool. So then almost will be finished yours. Okay, great. Um, uh, well, um, uh, I've, I've, I've uh, basically, I uh, added a few parts to the assignment already, so I sent it to you. Um, I will carry on working this week, um, and hopefully, by you know, like if I can manage to finish it by the end of next week. Um, and if you could give me like a you know a feedback on it, um, that'd be great. So I can you know, no, no I'm, 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 it's a draft I'm, really I'm, now, and it's my first one, so I'm a bit confused about. You know, if I'm doing it in the right way and everything. So if you could give me like as much feedback as possible, that'd be great. And no problem. Because I'm just, you know, giving a little bit critical feedback that will help us to improve things, huh? Yes, please. Yes, do. Because, uh, please do. Yeah, because I really need to understand what I'm not doing right and what I'm doing right. So I yes. can, you know, carry on on that path, yes. really. Because, yeah. you know, not just only the matter of this course, it's a matter of, you know, onward you want to progress. So exactly. that's why it's a quite good, you know, to be very detailed feedback. And as long as you know, we, we learn the basic, what are the things, you know, really are either you know, in the university or any course, but, you know, how reference these work, how critical thinking we can develop, you know, and those sort of things. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, okay. so I sent you like some more stuff that I did on uh, onto the assignment and I put some comments in there as well. So whenever you have a minute and you know, and no, no, no. Yes, yeah. sure. I will send okay, you. Perfect.
and uh, have a nice weekend. Hope so. Weather will be nice too. <laughs> to you too. All right. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye, Dad. Bye.